Today, China has published a paper with detailed data on more than 44,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19. This data give us a better understanding about the age range of people affected, uh, the severity of the disease, and the mortality rate. As such, they're very important in enabling WHO to provide good evidence-based advice to countries. We encourage all countries to share their data publicly. The real issue here is whether we're seeing efficient community transmission outside of China. Uh, and at the present time, we're not observing that. Uh, we've said it, the risk is very high in China, it is high regionally, and it is high around the world. That is not the risk is high of a pandemic. The risk is high that the disease may spread further. Uh, so therefore, I think we have to, uh, to uh, be very, very um, careful uh, not to drive fear in the world right now. It has proven effective and life-saving in a number of different uh, diseases. Diphtheria have been one most recently. We're a very important area of discovery, and I believe uh, they're starting trials on that in China. But it's a very valid uh, way to explore therapeutics, especially when we don't have vaccines or we don't have specific antivirals.